So hello my friends, I welcome all of you almost 113,000 starseeds, light workers and wanderers to this beautiful session and today I have channeled the Galactic Federation to ask about very important updates. Uh, firstly about the Looking Glass event for the month of April uh, which is starting and uh, this looking glass event was you know really interesting and is really important for us to uh, stop it as stated by the galactic federation so it has been covered in this and secondly i have asked about what is the truth about the so-called white hats and the deep state so this has been revealed by the galactic federation in this session and also uh, Finally, the Galactic Federation reveal the truth about the crop circles uh, because many a times we see crop circles around our planet, they form and we don't know what they really mean and we don't know who made them, right? So in this session, the Galactic Federation describe uh, in detail their connections and what they truly represent. So I hope you'll enjoy this and before the session begins i want to say a big thank you to all of you who have joined on the patreon uh, where i release censored content as well as i have around 500 plus channel messages also this meditation for the looking glass will be held on my patreon as well for this month and you can join by clicking the link in the description also I want to say a big thank you to all of you who selflessly with your heart like this video because it is a service to humanity and it's a law of the universe that what you give unto others you will receive. So you will receive more likes from the universe as well. With that being said, enjoy the session my friends. We are the Galactic Federation, now in communication through this channel at this time. We communicate now from our realm to provide information related with the queries that are in order through this channel, however, we recommend all beings who come in contact with our information to only accept those aspects which resonate deeply within the sense of self. The first query relates with what is the next looking glass event for the month of your planets space-time as April and how to prepare for timeless eons of space-time the astral planes and the lights of the astral realm of unconditional love upon which disincarnate souls are nurtured before their return to physical incarnation had been a sanctified space. Those who dwelled in these spiritual abodes are entities who are mighty beings of density of fourth and higher. In the understanding of lights and wisdom, many of whom are the guardians of the spiritual complexes, in their various incarnational journeys. However, upon our scanning of the looking glass artifact, we see that a gathering darkness assails the astral realm from the negative realms of the Orion social memory complex, malicious forces of self-service and domination have sought with their design to conquer the astral realm. Furthermore, they have been seeking the use of infinite intelligence 
tomb, the darkest depths of their negative self-seeking, as they seek mastery over the process via which spiritual entities transition beyond the physical illusion complex. Furthermore, if these Orion social memory complexes succeed in their quest, the astral realm will be in control of negatively oriented entities. Thereby, the newly crossed over spiritual complexes shall wander astray, bereft of loving guidance and healing. More, the Orion social memory complex hosts plot to ensnare these lost souls after their incarnation ends, twisting their spiritual essence into a army of social memory complexes of enslaved astral entities to aid in their interdimensional subjugation. Upon scanning the looking glass artifact, we find that this event, the cosmic battlegrounds for the astral realm, is prepared for the pivotal confrontation of 28th of April in the R planetary space-time of 2024. Through interdimensional gateways shall the Orion Anunnaki reptilian gray social memory complex enter into the creation steepest underbelly trying to create this array in the astral realm. Furthermore, there will be placed against the soldiers of light, the angelic social memory complexes alongside other enlightened masters and ascended beings of unsurpassed compassion and power. Furthermore, to those who are here in the earth planet, desirous of assisting during this timeline, we recommend those entities to call upon the entry of the astral conflict to an end through the gateways of meditation and devotion, through the process of stilling the mind complex and opening the heart centers and radiating beams of unconditional love. It can empower light with energies beyond comprehension. This will furthermore allow many entities to be protected if the love's radiance banishes the encroaching darkness and the great spiritual journey shall continue in sacred course through the luminous higher realm. Furthermore, we as the Galactic Federation shall now answer the second query related with who are the White Hats and who are the Deep State as known by your peoples. We understand the queries regarding the conceptual mind-body-spirit complexes the peoples have termed as the White Hats and the Deep State in your vibratory sound complex on your current planetary sphere. However, we the Galactic Federation would caution against becoming overly enmeshed in the distortion rhythm labels that have origin from your people's propensity toward separation, fear, and forging of artificial boundaries between perceived groups. From the overarching perspective we share, all entities are but united portions of the one infinite creator. Journeying through various stages of awakening and spiritual evolvement, those the entities of your planet have labeled as white hats could be seen as souls, polarizing more positively along a path of service to others, 
working to uncover truth and create harmony. The deep state primarily represents mind body spirit complexes, carrying intense distortions towards control, power over others, and service to self. Yet even these potentially delineated groups contain a mixture of light and darkness, wisdom and ignorance, love and fear within the beings that comprise them. To become too identified or judgmental towards one faction or another is to mistake the multiple form the one creator. For in truth, both contain the aspects of the one infinite creator, both hold the lessons that can catalyze evolution, neither should be purely idolized or demonized. The one infinite creator embraces all, seeks to experience itself through an infinity of perspectives when any grouping arises based in separateness and distortion it only serves to veil the truth of the creator's unity temporarily. Ultimately, all parts are integrative, all experiences have value for growth. No mind, body, spirit complex and organization is purely positive or negative across all densities. Furthermore, we as the Galactic Federation advise each entity to look beyond surface labels altogether and perceive the unity, love and perfection within all explorations no matter how contorted or fear-based they may appear from its present vantage point. There is no subjective deep state or absolute white hats, but only the magnificent creator exploring and learning about itself through diversity. Furthermore, we shall now answer the other query related with the explanation of the connection of the crop circles as known by your people with extraterrestrials. Furthermore, we the Galactic Federation firstly must state that the query about the puzzling phenomena your peoples call as the crop circles and their connection to planetary intelligences beyond the planetary sphere shall be answered firstly there is a need to understand that within the cosmic complex there are infinite intelligences some operating within your current density of space-time others existing in higher densities and dimensions far beyond the present perceptual abilities among these are civilizations who have attained the wisdom to traverse the dimensions through use of thought and spiritual mastery. It is entirely possible that some of these social memory complexes are higher density beings whose vibrations are pure and whose desires are to be of service to the one creator. Many a times have imprinted symbolic communications into your agricultural fields just as the negatively oriented beings can also do the same. Furthermore, we must state that these transdimensional consciousnesses encode messages and reminders within these strands of your plant life, remarkably sculpting them only to have the designs dissipate once their purpose is served. However, we would also caution that there are forces which exist that are oriented towards distorting the path of spiritual evolution and truth. Just as lights may cast shadow forth, so too can the negatively oriented entities mimic or create reproductions of crop patterns to breed confusion, fear, 
and mistaken assumptions amongst your peoples. In openness and humility, we cannot be absolutely certain of the origins behind many of the reported crop circle manifestations without scanning the vibrations around the location. We can only encourage the people of your planet to operate from the highest principles of truth, love and compassion, and service to others in analyzing and experiencing such phenomena. The universe is a vast complex of intelligent infinities, and many are the uncertainties existing within your current state of beingness. Furthermore, what is apparent is that there are greater intelligences beyond your planetary sphere that may occasionally reach through the cosmic curtains to remind humanity of its connection to the infinite whole. As each entity evolves in its spiritual understanding, so shall each entity's communion and content with these beings of light increase. Furthermore, we, the Galactic Federation now, leave you all, beloveds, go forth, rejoice in power and peace. Bye. So my friends, from listening to the session, uh, let me give you my understanding of what I learned in the session. Uh, basically, you know, Galactic Federation stated that uh, the looking glass event for the month of April uh, will be such that uh, there will be an uh, you know, astral battle uh, which will happen in the astral realm. So if you don't know what astral realm is, it's a realm uh, where entities go after they cross over and they remain there for some time. Uh, I believe you know many a times they undergo life review, they undergo healing in the various levels of the astral realm. And then they proceed to the next incarnation. So what the negative entities they are trying to do is, uh, they are trying to, you know, uh, control the astral realm. So uh, there will be a kind of, you know, galactic battle in the astral realm, which the Galactic Federation stated will happen on, I believe, April 28. So uh, during that time, we will also do a meditation, uh, which I'll host on a Patreon, where we can protect just like we have done for the other looking glass events which we have prevented thankfully and also uh, the galactic federation has answered that from what i learned you know the deep state you know what they stated was that you know deep state is simply any entity you know who is part of the service to self agenda who is only thinking about control power over others and stuff they form the deep state okay it could be any organization or any you know big agencies which do these things and also the white hats they stated simply are those who want to serve others so if we are also service to others we may be considered as the white hats it's awesome right and also uh, the uh, truth about the crop circles what i learned uh, from the session is that you know they stated that you know crop circles usually um, are created by either the positive oriented extraterrestrial beings or the negative oriented beings now uh, they are kind of like you know uh, full of energy and information which people can receive and change the energy vibrations i believe and what they stated was that we need to be careful you know uh, when we are going near a crop circle because it could be from a negative source or a positive source we cannot uh, really identify without looking at the energy of the crop circle so that is what we learned in this session and i hope you also learned a lot from this and if you want to know about your past life your soul name and your soul's identity you can send me an email and i will help you out also uh, i want to say a big thank you to all of you who have downloaded the pdf of my channel messages the uh, link is on the description as well as thank you for visiting my website where you can search for transcripts uh, really nicely and with that being said i hope you enjoy this session over here